Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. As usual, I'd like to give you all a very warm welcome, uh, all of you new subscribers over this past week. Hope you're enjoying the daily content. I focused heavily on uh, Chaos Space Marines this week. Next week, we'll be moving into all of the Horus Heresy reviews, and uh, I can't wait to bring you them because uh, there are some excellent sort of size comparisons and um, just comparisons in general with uh, a lot of the resin kits from Forge World, which I've collected over the years. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, it's really worth doing so because, as I say, I release daily content, and uh, if you click the bell icon, you'll also be notified when I uh, load up a live stream. Uh, I do live stream, uh, I've live streamed twice this week on the Wednesday and the Friday. Normally I live stream on Wednesdays and Saturday evenings from around six or seven o'clock, but I wanted to continue the uh, building the Leviathan Dreadnought live stream, um, which I think has been quite successful in the grand scheme of things. Uh, they are right here, normally in the playlist for the Warhammer live streams, and they are build live streams. I'm hoping to do some more painting live streams at some point soon. Uh, I also, on Tuesday, sort of afternoon for five hours, it seems, um, played uh, Stray, which is this uh, cat game, bit random, uh, on the PlayStation 5. Uh, but yeah, now and again, I'll live stream some PlayStation content. Uh, I wanna say thank you to all of you members right here. Um, you can join for like two pound a month and it really does make a massive difference to the channel. Uh, you also get like a little badge and things to basically show everyone that you're supporting this content and all these videos that I uh, make. And finally, a thank you to everyone that uses the Element Games affiliate link. Um, if you just click on a video, like this one for instance, and you go into the description, which is harder and harder to find nowadays. All you need to do is just click that link and then that will tell Element Games that you want to support this channel basically. And then at the end um, where it says crystal code, put just copy and paste this crystal code and you will earn yourself double the crystals. That's the only way of getting double crystals really. Um, and then those crystals over you know, a year worth of buying things, um, you will accrue a number. And my best advice is to either use them on the Games Workshop Direct products that Element Games order in, um, because they never give a discount for the, you know, direct sales Games Workshop products, or use them for all the battle forces or even a combat patrol. But that's just my tips, really, uh, on that. Without further ado then, let's jump on over to the Warhammer Community website right here. Um, they've got this map in the background, um, but if we just go to view all news, it should turn to white and it's a bit clearer and easier to, uh, to read. Go back a week, which was the 30th of July on the Saturday. Um, you can have a look at these uh, pre-orders, which were Warcry. Um, it's a two-week uh, pre-order window, so it's last weekend, and this weekend is mainly just this on the Games Workshop website. £140, not sure whether it is worth £140, um, you know, for two, I mean, yeah, it's it's an odd one, um, because they're not 10 Space Marines at the end of the day, or 10 Chaos Space Marines, or something like that, they're just, you know, kind of Warhammer, Age of Sigmar miniatures, really. Um, for 20 of them and some scenery and you know I, i'm not quite sure it's worth that amount but you know games workshop think that it is and that's what they're selling it for um the next day on the sunday was the pre-order preview they run this article every sunday at about six o'clock <laughs> i know that time so well now um but uh they give you this article usually followed with a video <clears throat> explaining some of the pre-orders now what is odd is um, there's been times when Forge World, for instance, because there's some Forge World pre-orders, uh, they went through a phase of sort of releasing or having things up for pre-order on the Saturday, um, specifically like Necromunda um, products. And in the video, it does say from next weekend, which includes this. However, typically the Forge World release schedule is on a Friday. And that was the same for these Dark Angels. And just by chance, 
I went on Forge World's website uh, at about sort of 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I think, um, yesterday, and found that these were uh, up for pre-order. And it's a good job I just happened to be on there because if it was anything sort of bigger, um, they might not have been able to fulfill the order. So you have, so yesterday uh, you could pre-order the Dark Angels Mark VI heads and shoulder pads. Um, fantastic. I have pre-ordered them. Um, not that sure on the shoulder pads because, well, I'll say they're all the same. You know, they've got the different, different cutouts and things, which I guess is different to Iron Armour. Uh, but I really like the helmet, so I've picked up both of them. So you'll see them next weekend, hopefully, if, if delivery works. Um, and also Marduk Cedras. Uh, absolutely fantastic model. Yes, he does have a lot going on. But he's an absolute icon, a bit like Valdor, you know, um, one of a kind. I'd even go as far as to say he's, he's pretty legendary, like Corswain and Ralderon and Sigismund. His sword is called the Death of Worlds, uh, and he's got this excellent, like, plasma pistol type weapon. It just suits my Dark Angels army to a T. He's in the Cataphracti armor, the same as the Cenobian. He's going to go very well with my plasma themed um, Dark Angels. I still haven't decided whether to go for green uh, plasma coils as like a tribute to Caliban, but I, I might just go for blue because um, I think blue works better with the... because I think blue works um, better with red. Um, all this kind of maroon colour that they've gone for, but absolutely beautiful miniature. Can't wait to get my can't wait to get my only hands uh, on him. You've also got uh, some made to order shoulder pauldrons, and I can't stress this enough. If you are in the market of of collecting one of these uh, legions, it really is worth you picking these up now because they are most likely going to disappear. And it's such a shame, it really is. If I had my way, I would seriously have all of the shoulder pauldrons for all of the legions always available. And that goes for the same for, I don't know, Black Library, um, having all of the Primark novels available. They're not, guys. It's it's a shame. It's, it's almost like Games Workshop have pushed Horace Heresy uh, and they've really supported it in terms of all of the new amazing plastic kits, the price points, the books are fantastic, you know, like the uh, the Lieber books. And I've no doubt the, the new Lieber books for the Mechanicum and um, Custodies and things will, will be awesome too. But everywhere else is kind of lagging behind, like Black Library, seriously, with those Primark books. Forge World having some things made to order and removing weapons such as you know like the contemptor weapons um before the plastic kits are even available it's it's yeah again my expectations are silly silly high um but these are mark three i can't really imagine emperor's children in a lot of mark three but you can get them uh mark two though you've got a few of those and then you've got mark four torsos so a real mishmash here of, of different marks of, of armour. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I guess that's the variety for you. For me, I'm not really interested in any of them. Uh, if I'm going to run Empress Children, I'm going to go straight up Mark VI. So I guess, in a way, that's a good thing because that's going to save me some money. I, I'm not uh, keen on having, you know, uh, Crusade Mark II uh, shoulder problems. I, don't, I, don't, I have no real need of, of get, getting um, a crusade force of Emperor's children. I want the force that is assaulting the, the palace, uh, really. Then you've got Mark II White Scars, Mark IV Shoulder Pauldrons, and that's it for White Scars. So again, Crusade Armour torsos for White Scars, but Mark IV Shoulder Pauldrons. Yeah, it, it's odd, the, the marks that they've chosen, but if you are interested at all in these, um, they're made to order um, and they won't be back again. Unless they do another made to order in like five to ten years. Who knows? New this week, uh, you've got the Warcry Battle Report. I haven't actually watched that yet. Maybe I should. It probably changed my opinion on them. And uh, then Lawmasters Gur. And that was it. So a very kind of slow pre-order week. Although I'm very happy that Marduk Cedras is... Um, 
up for pre-order. Fingers crossed, Lucius um, will be around soon. You've got the Light the Beacons preview, online preview, on Sunday the 7th, which is tomorrow. Uh, that's pretty nice if you're into Middle Earth. They're, they're probably going to preview some awesome new miniatures. Uh, the Leagues of Votan let loose the augmented fury of the Chthonian uh, Berserks. Yep, they are foregone any kind of armour for these awesome looking flame power axe things. I mean, and talk about power fists. Yeah, amazing. I like them. You've got Crute Tracker. So this is Kill Team Into the Dark. So a new uh, Kill Team box set, new miniature. You've got free Warcry rules for your Grand Alliance Warbands. You've got the Rumor Engine, which looks to be some kind of skeleton in amongst some fur. Uh, you've got the Miniature of the Month. Uh, give Lord Leech his rotten due with this month's free uh, in-store coin and model. Obviously you can get a little book thing put them in a little binder thing a little display case uh, you've got free war cry rules for your grand alliance destruction war bands organized play win glory prizes in this year's uh, season of Warhammer 40,000 organized play uh, that looks pretty nice and that's in November You got Law Masters. So five novel ways to spend an extremely short time in Gur. Uh, the new limited edition of the War Boss. Now this looks amazing, but we all know it's going to be over a hundred pounds. Or it's going to be yeah over a hundred pound. I'm sure of it. I don't think it's going to be like sixty or seventy. I think it's going to be a hundred. You've got a box for for a start. Then you've got some teeth. <laughs> um. Nice orc teeth as well. Uh, they're a bit too clean though. Um, yeah, you've got the book itself uh, by Mike Brooks. He seems to be the go-to chap for um, orc content right now, orc novels. Uh, you've also got um, the Grot Boss Manifesto. It's a separate illustrated book with short story. And then you get a nice little map base of operations love it the easy way the easy way excellent i mean it looks nice but yeah I'm, I'm thinking it's and it's a nice box and everything but um we'll see how much that that will be um it would be nice if we had this as like a standard edition though like next to it in paperback i don't know i just throw that out there all the time uh, free war cry rules for grand alliance death war bands latest middle earth strategy battle game faq has arrived now yes warhammer horrors heresy heresy thursday space fairies anyone um you could make your own rat legion um yeah i i <laughs> Just look at their mouths, though. They just look like they're smiling. They're not ferocious at all. <laughs> I, just, I just, if I was a space marine and I saw another space marine coming at me looking like that, I, I, close my vox and just laugh my head off. It's just, it's just a long run. It's not even a joke at this point, is it? The terrible, terrible models and sculpts that space wolves get, both in thirty k and uh, in forty k. It's, it's. I really feel for you guys. You get some really, you know, awful models and scops. They're really bad. But yeah, anyway, so let's not dwell on them for too long. Kill Team, what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, well, we're going down the Space Hulk route, box set by box set at a time. We start off with the Imperial Navy, uh, it seems going to be cannon fodder for, for Nurgle or the warp quite quickly. That looks interesting though. Whether that's a shot, whether that's an Astarte shotgun with a, it can't be a, it must be some kind of sight or something. 
I don't know. But no way is that triple. Um, the shield's lovely, though. And this multi-laser, man-portable multi-laser, I like that. I like this servitor. I think the painting is lovely on that. I'm not sure what this is, though. Some kind of sensor thing, I guess. And then this, he's got some kind of chain fist. Who does he think he is? Hang on, is that one got a grenade? Yeah, that one's got a, like a grenade. So I like the Imperial Navy breaches. Um, <laughs> they say breaches. <laughs> There's only one with a shield. <laughs> what do they do? Do they all stand, stand in, in a line behind him? <laughs> Sorry. And then you've got some Farstalker kin band. Oh, with some kind of uh, web bow. Brilliant. Well, that looks nice. Not a fan of crew at all, but... Whoa, what is that thing? That looks pretty heavy. Heavy duty. Anyway, so that's that. I like the terrain as well. Although we all know it's going to be, you know, the hard plastic, loads of mold lines made in China. But, you know, this... I think a lot of people won't be getting it for the, the crew and stuff. I think people will be getting it for the terrain and the board. And let's just hope Games Workshop will be selling these separately because I myself would love uh, an awesome um, sort of Space Hulk kind of board and things. Put my Terminators on, put my Tyranids and my Gene Stealers on and just, you know, or even Space Marine on Space Marine. I can't see why they haven't, you know, shown some pictures of Horus Heresy with with breaches and things maybe that's the next step but this is your first step in in making that a, a reality uh, you've got the rule books the gubbins things like that um i'm interested just for the you know the scenery for that kit free war cry rules for your grand alliance chaos war bands and then the uh pre-orders so this article came out um yesterday on friday and um, just to make you aware that marduk the awesome looking model for dark angels is out and the shoulder pauldrons and helmets and the made to order. All of these are uh, items which I've just gone through. You've got Necromunda. Um, you've got new narrative expansion. Cinderac burning. It's, it is Cinderac. And then you've got Apocrypha Necromunda. So, yeah. That's those. And that's it. That's all of the uh, news and features um, for, for this whole week. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go on over to Fortrod and have a look at those juicy Dark Angels pre-orders. I'm so happy. This is this is amazing for me. Um, I have pre-ordered all of these. So, uh, you know, check back next weekend and you will see them in the flesh. Um, but, yeah, we've got an awesome looking banner here, which is clearly going to be my thumbnail today uh and if we just go to um well we'll go to new and we'll have a look at these and then i'll, I'll talk a little bit about you know horror heresy resin in, in general but if we go to pre-orders we've got eight pre-orders today and it starts off with marduk Zedras, uh lord of the 23rd order 35 pounds yeah that's that's not too bad um you know when you consider like a awful looking tech marine is like basically 30 quid you know for five quid more you're getting this um absolutely fantastic looking model uh you don't get him without helmet that's it that's just what he comes with and i like that a lot um there are some models like some primarchs that i would prefer a helmet on and you know some of them do have uh two options but this guy just has a helmet i like him he's i couldn't have asked for anything more um i can't wait to pick him up he's an hq choice I, I just hope that they Corswain looks as good or if not better than this. Maybe Corswain could be in a more of an action pose. Um but you've got eleven resin components. Um looking forward to that. Then you've got the shoulder pads or shoulder pauldrons. Um yeah, they're fine. They'll go well obviously with Mark Six um and I'll be putting them on one of my units, £14.50 for those, £14.50 for the heads. I actually wouldn't mind getting a second pack of these at some point, um, you know, to have with uh, with some other Dark Angels. Just, you know, sprinkle them about, uh, my, my Legion. Then you've got the White Scars torsos, £14.50 uh, for those. You're only getting five. That's always been the case with the torsos. They'll be £14.50 for, uh, for five. So, yes, 
what that means is if you were going to get some heads as well, um, then you're looking at uh, 30, 45, um, 60 pounds just for 10 torsos, um, heads and pauldrons. So yeah, that's quite a bit. Um, you know, 60 pound on top of, uh, I say a 10 man squad, can't really get them now. So you'd have to get the 20, so that's 50, well it's £47.50 isn't it? But pretty much you're going to be paying about £110 for, spe for, I say 10 Space Marines, it's going to be 20, but you know, to equip 10 Space Marines with your Legion specific items. So just bear that in mind, although £14.50 for like 10 pauldrons isn't, isn't too bad, um, it soon adds up. And I know I can hear people already in the chat, super, they should just make them in plastic, you know, because then you could have all of the marks of shoulder pauldrons in a plastic sprue for, I don't know, 16 pound or so. Yeah, I get that, but you, you're already talking about a niche within a niche within a niche. Um, we're talking about Space Marines, which not everyone collects. We're talking about Horus Heresy, which is a you know different game system to 40K. Then you're talking about a Legion specific um, item. And then on top of that, you're talking about a unit specific item which will be mainly like troops. So you can't put these on Terminators or um, the, the specialist Legion specific uh, units like Ashen Circle or something, for, for, just for example. Um, and then on top of that, you're looking at um, Mark of Armor specific. So there's a lot of levels to get through, which uh, affects the sales of these and just how many that they will sell um, compared to the cost of them making these resin molds and pumping them out of the factory so there is that anyway we've got the uh, torsos we've got the shoulder pads we've got the emperor's children mark 2 emperor's children mark 3 and the mark 4 torsos and of course the shoulder pads for white scars are mark 4 we've already seen what the um white scars mark 6 will look and i think the emperor's children as well if i just type in White scars. Um, there we go. I really like these. Um, they're not everybody's cup of tea, you know, because of the I say top knot and things. But it it works. Maybe they could have done it without that. But yeah, it, it works for them. Uh, and I really like the you know small slit visors. And this dude, he's on his way to being Slanesh, isn't he? With the, you know with those uh, grills. Um, and the shoulder pauldron is quite nice. Uh, but also Emperor's Children. These also look very nice. Um, the angle of these I think is too high. They should have been aimed a little bit lower. Because nobody really needs to see that they've got necks. Um, because if they were lower they'd look like this. And that looks way better than like these. At the moment these just look like they've got golden triangles. But... When taken into context a bit lower, you can see what's going on. And this, like, champion's helmet is is amazing. Yeah, the pauldrons are good too. They've got a nice bit of gold there as well. Um, and also, you're going to have this amazing Praetor to go with them, um, which is going to suit suit them too. too. And uh, I'll be picking up this, even though Emperor's Children, for me, are a long way off. Anyway, that was the pre-orders for Forge World yesterday. Uh, they'll ship on the 12th, I think, um, which is the Friday. Uh, sometimes I've received Forge World models on the Friday itself, sometimes on the uh, Saturday morning. So it's going to be one of those two days. Let's go on over to Games Workshop and have a look at absolutely no pre-orders. <laughs> so they've still got this um, uh, banner here. If we go on Unit Exclusive... You see, this is why I took so long um, on the Horus Heresy and the Forge World items, because I know that Games Workshop, there's nothing on here. There's just the uh, Warcry Heart of Gur, which was up for pre-order last weekend. Moving back to Forge World, uh, just for a moment, one thing I will say is, this is how I normally look for my Horus Heresy items. Um, so a bit of a tip, if you're not already doing this, don't mean to teach you to suck eggs or anything, but I go to either Loyalist or Traitor, they're both the same, um, for the actual Horus Heresy items. I click on Legionones, Astartes, and then I go high to low, and then I've got a list of um, all of the models, uh, you know, 
from the most costly down to the cheapest. Um, some of these are temporarily out of stock. They're not going away. Don't think that they're going to be in plastic. It's only when they kind of completely remove an item off here that, you know, it it's possible that it will, but also it's possible that they're making a, a brand new resin mold because these resin molds, they have a life, uh, they have a life cycle and they do crack and deform over time and they need to make new ones. Um, but the one thing I say is log in to, if there's an item that you really want, you really want a falchion, um, but it's out of stock, log into your Forgeworld account and then click email me and then Forgeworld will send you an email, typically at silly times, like two o'clock or five o'clock in the morning, um, to say that the item is in stock, which means that, you know, you've got to wake up quite early uh, during the day if you've got a chance to, to pick it up. But try not to apply sort of fear of missing out, FOMO, as I call it, because these are standard run-of-the-mill sort of products, items. If you are unsuccessful the second time, they will come back into stock. You will get another chance. They're not limited. You know, you, you can get them, you know. Uh, and sometimes, some of them, Oh, it doesn't do it for this one. <laughs> Sometimes some of them, when you click on them, they'll say that they're temporarily out of stock. So literally, the only reason why this Graviton Charge Cannon um, Bombard is out of stock is just because of that Grav Flux. They've got everything else of this tank, just that little weapon, at, I say little weapon, just the weapon at the back. Um, but sometimes when you click on them, they'll say they're out of stock. Sometimes when they're out of stock, they're, and you click on them, they're actually available. Um, so just bear that in mind. I wouldn't take this as face value. Have a little bit of hope here. Um, click on it even if it says out of uh, stock and you might get a pleasant surprise. Um, uh, from what I've seen, uh, the popular products, um, I mean, the big products, they might go out of stock because it's it does take a fair while for them to um, make all the molds and to make all the parts. Uh, and definitely some of the things that they don't sell a lot of, but have suddenly had an upsurge in demand, such as the Charybdis. Um, that's usually never out of stock. Uh, and likewise, these um, Arquitas are usually in stock, and they do come back into stock quite quickly. They're a new kit, CAD designed. I've recently picked up uh, the Morbius, um, and I absolutely love it. Um, the Xiphon, I don't think they sold many of them because that's never really been out of stock, um, but it is at the moment. And... I'll give you a little secret of why. It's an amazing Space Marine flyer and the rotary missile launcher, I'm whispering this, is AP2 at 60 inches. Um, <laughs> and uh, the Sabre Tank, the Sabre Tank Armory, I don't think they'll bring that back, um, even though price-wise it was the same as, uh, as buying the weapon separately with it. Um, the basilisks never out of stock, so that's odd. Uh, the land speeder, the 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 attack speeder, uh, you know, the javelin with last cannons, that's usually not out of stock. These two predators, um, I think what's putting people off those is the price point. It's like seventy pounds. When the plastic kit coming out, it's probably going to be forty five, maybe fifty at a push. Um, although that is the only way you at the moment you can get those four weapons because each one of these comes with two different uh, weapons which are very very easy to magnetize the saber tank is usually a popular one and i see that out of stock quite often the recon squad i think people have cottoned on to the uh, nemesis bolters now uh, also the breacher squad seems to go out of stock now and again um and sometimes so do like the despoilers uh it's a shame that they don't have the laser destroyer rapier anymore but um, another little tip is the rapiers are actually elite choices, not heavy support. So if you wanted some heavy weapons without that um, slot being taken up, you can do it that way. Uh, the command sets, both four and three, are quite popular, and and of course the apothecaries. Um, these are the only two apothecaries you can get. Uh, and one of them is in a nice Mark Three and Mark Four. Hopefully, we'll get some in Mark Six. That'll be brilliant. Um, and sometimes some of the weapon 
uh, power sets are out of stock. Nice, interesting to note that the Vigilator, which can be, you know, like your Warlord, your, your Console, your Centurion, or whatever, um, he can be, he's out of stock. Uh, I take it he goes well with the Recon Squad, if, uh, if you want to go down that route. Uh, and it's nice to see all of the Leviathan uh, arm weapons still in stock. And I hope that they continue to be in stock. Um, just to give you options if you only wanted to buy one plastic um, Leviathan and call it a day. But let's face it, three resin weapons um, is almost the price of a second Leviathan. So put, just putting that out there. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to make a point about the Forge World store in that uh, they have done an incredible job um, bringing items and products back into stock uh, very quickly. Um, and you will probably see that in the Legionis Astartes range um, itself, but also, for instance, like uh, the Legion specific units, like Death Guard. Death Guard, wow. Um, the doors were out of stock for ages. The Grave Wardens are very popular. So is so are the Death Shroud, because you can sort of, I say, almost get away with using them in, in 40k as well. So they're multi purpose, and you're getting five of them too. Which is which is great um but yeah i just wanted to make that point that they're doing very well restocking everything um very quickly and the sculpts and things that i've had all of 2022 have been a, like a matte finish uh, and haven't really had any issues um whatever they've done uh you know they need to keep doing it because i've been impressed with all of my kits obviously i've recently picked up a few kits uh, and i've been very impressed with them Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about the uh, pre-orders. It's kind of turned into like a, a Forge World uh, video today, but um, I hope all of that information has helped you. Please put down in the comments below if you are going to pick up any of those torsos or shoulder pads or even Marduk Zedras. I hope you enjoy the uh, Horus Heresy content all of next week. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.